guys. Great news. Great news. Finally sponsored. This message is brought to you by Exfoliant. It's a company, startup company that sells knives and oil, which work together. Miraculously. <laughs> okay. Um, finally, somebody in this world that says, yes, we believe in God. Yes, we believe in the medicinal power of his medicine, the oils. And yes, we believe in the law of the Constitution. So these videos are going to be three fold. Okay, they're going to have three purposes. One is to talk about an oil. Uh, we're going to read it from the Young Living Essential Oils Guide. The cover fell off. I don't even think this book is available to you guys. You have to consult your distributor. I am a distributor. If you have any medical problems you want me to read from here, write it in the comments below and we'll get to it next time. This time we've opened the book to the letter H. There's oils for hate, hay fever, and headaches. Uh, headaches recommend peppermint. I need that one. Put it on your, your temples there, where the pain is. Uh, Romaceas and M grain and rosemary. Uh, M grain, that's one of our blends. It's a blend of basil, marjoram, lavender. Roman chamomile, peppermint, and heliochrysum. Now, heliochrysum is a very expensive oil. In this blend, all of those together for you guys, it's sixty-one dollars and some change. Okay, so the Bible stuff. Again, we're reading from the website where science meets religion. Blogspot.com. And there's a link to all the topics there. I'm going to choose one, one Bible subject and one legal subject. Okay, the first one is a quote from Deuteronomy 29, 12. Enter into the covenant with the Lord thy God and into his oath. We're in an oath and a covenant here. Oath is to a law, not a flag. There's no flag in the Constitution. Uh, Hebrews 7 20, inasmuch as not without an oath, he was made a priest. Uh, Ecclesiastes 8 2, I counsel thee to keep the king's commandment and that in regard to the oath. Hebrews 7, 28, uh, the law maketh men high priests which have an infirmity, but the word of the oath, which was since the law, maketh the son, who is consecrated forevermore. Hebrews 7, 21, those priests were made without an oath, but this was with an oath. By him that said unto him, The Lord swear and will not repent that thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews 6 16, for men verily swear by the greater and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. 1 Kings 18, uh, 1810, as the Lord thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom whither my Lord hath not sent to seek thee. And when they said, He is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation. Nehemiah 1029, they clave to their brethren the nobles, and they enter into a curse and into an oath. To walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our God, and his judgments, and his statutes. The people feared the oath, 1 Samuel 14, 26. Called the priest and took an oath, that's Nehemiah 5, 12. 
took an oath of them in the house of the Lord. 2 Kings 11, 4. Oath which he swore to our father Abraham. That's Luke 1, 73. Uh, the oath comes before thy altar in this house. That's in there twice. 1 Kings 8, 31 and 2 Chronicles 6, 22. The Lord's Oath, that's uh, 2 Samuel 21, 7. Neither by any other oath, James 5, 12. Oath of the Lord, Exodus 22, 11. 1 Kings 2, 43. That says, why then hast thou not kept the oath of the Lord and the commandment that I have charged thee with? Okay. Uh, okay, so that's some Bible stuff, and let's pull it back up, and we'll do some law stuff. Law stuff. Again, the commitment was really to keep these videos short and sweet. <laughs> We're not too sweet in the uh, setup over here. We This is live from the massage table. We are fresh out of the woods. We were living homeless for 18 months after the sheriff's says moms can't own property. We're back in business now, and I do sorry, apologize for that interruption. Just taking a moment. Number one, freedom in religion. Okay, well, it's certainly my religion that the Passover meal is eaten with your loins girded. Amendment number one says that tradition is not valid reasoning. We've always done it this way. It's not a valid concept, not a, not a legal defense. It says, Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for the redress of grievances. Okay, and it's only the religion that people can only marry one person. Ah, polygamy is a religion. They can marry multiple people and you're free to practice your religion here. One Thessalonians two fourteen, they suffered like things with their countrymen. One Chronicles eighteen five six and one Chronicles eighteen twelve thirteen uh, says a puppet government was set up. Okay, this is a quick statement on the Declaration of Religious Freedom. Every man has the duty and therefore the right to seek the truth in religious matters in order that he may with prudence for himself write and true judgments of consciousness. This inquiry is to be free in all things his activity, a man is bound to follow his conscience faithfully. He is not to be forced to act in a manner contrary to his conscience. Nor, on the other hand, is he to be restrained from acting in accordance with his conscience, especially in matters religious. So that was the Declaration on Religious Freedom Number 3. That's from the Vatican, Vatican.va. Vatican language is dignitatis humane, H-U-M-A-N-E-E. -E. Okay, and this is also found on our website, Love Science Meets Religion. Uh, we have a health condition you want me to read from the book, What Oil is Best for You? Please document it below. Any other questions, let me know, okay? Because we are 
back online. All right, thank you guys.